The three choreographers I'm about to interview have worked with just about everyone who is anyone. They're here in Aotearoa as part of the Monsters of Hip Hop where they are taking masterclasses in dance. Nō reira, me tui a Kevin, rato ko lezep, me chikwel. What's this all about, this Monsters of Hip Hop? This is the first time we've been overseas and we bring um, what LA, like a taste of what LA has to offer to all these different dance communities. We do a lot of music videos and tours and stage performances for a lot of big artists, so they figured by putting us all together yeah. we could create a community, community and tour the US and the world and get hip hop out there to the masses. These three have worked with the likes of Madonna, Britney, Missy Elliott, Pink, Beyonce, Rihanna, and JT, just to name a few. You know, I've got to ask, you've got to ask, what is it like working with them? Oh, it's awesome. Sometimes it's surreal, like mm. you'll be in a room and, and sometimes, you know, you uh, step back like before you even got there and you have a dream to work with this person and then you fast forward and you're there in that moment working with them and it's sometimes so surreal. I remember I got a call to dance for Janet Jackson and I was so nervous walking into the room and I'm walking into the room preparing how to be like, okay, I'm gonna, and she was sitting right there in her pajamas like, hey, what's that? And I was like, hi, nice to meet you. And I just had to like, you know, breathe. What was the major turning point for you, would you say? I know for me and I, for all of us actually, we all started as dancers. And I think once we got the opportunities and made, met the right people, we had to sh show and prove that we could be choreographers. I started with Michelle Williams, one of the other girls from Destiny's Child. And then from her, I went on to Beyonce. But before then, I was working with so many new artists back in Atlanta. You know what, when I saw um, Janet Jackson's Velvet Rope tour, oh. I, I, was, I knew that that's what I wanted to be. I wanted to be one of those people on stage. Yeah. Specifically, I wanted to be Tice. I wanted to be <laughs> that guy on stage with Janet Jackson. So what do you think about New Zealand hip hop? The talent here is so amazing, and they're so open to the things that we have to offer. And they, even though they have like a like a base here, a foundation here of their own. Yeah, New Zealand has a good reputation in the States. Yeah, yeah they have a good. reputation to have a lot of passion and a lot of fire yeah. and a lot of strength. Anything that you would like to say to our New Zealand youth up and coming dancers? Don't be afraid to dance. I, I sucked when I was younger and then I grew into it. So you don't have to be good to start, you just have to dance from here. It's not easy, though. <laughs> don't let them think it's easy. Um, it's a lot of hard work, so um, with the passion and drive and just know you're going to have to put in a lot of hard work and it'll pay off. You heard it here, Fano. If you want to rise to the top, it takes hard work, dedication and self-belief. But by the looks of things, it's going to take Ollie a little bit more than that. <laughs> Shame, Ollie.